Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to take you on a journey back in time, to explore the discovery of Proton. So, let's start with a quick history. Back in the late 19th century, scientists were busy exploring the mysteries of atoms. They knew that when matter is divided into smallest particles as atoms, and all atoms contain negatively charged particles, named as electrons, that are revolving around the nucleus. But something was missing. They couldn't explain why atoms had a positive charge. In 1886, Goldstein conducted an experiment using a special device called a cathode ray tube, which has an anode and perforated cathode connected to the high voltage battery. Perforated means having holes in it. This tube was filled with gas at low pressure, maintained by a vacuum pump. When an electric current was passed through it, something incredible happened. Goldstein observed that in addition to cathode rays, other rays were also present in the discharge tube. These rays were traveling in opposite directions to cathode rays. He found that these rays passed through holes present in the cathode, and produced a glow on the walls of the discharge tube. He called these rays as, canal rays. These were called canal rays, because they passed through the holes or canals in the cathode, and produced glow. Now, let's talk about canal rays, and their properties. Goldstein observed that, canal rays travel in a straight line. He placed a magnetic field near the path of these rays. It got deflected towards the negative plate. Their deflection towards negative plates shows that, they carry a positive charge. So, he concluded that, canal rays are positively charged particles. Do you know my dear students? How canal rays are produced? Let me explain. When gas atoms inside the tube are bombarded by high-speed electrons emitted from the cathode, these electrons collide with atoms of gas and knock off electrons from the gas atoms, create positively charged particles. These particles then move towards the anode and produce a beautiful glow when they hit the walls of the discharge tube. The nature of canal rays depends on the nature of gas. For example helium gas contains two protons. So the canal rays produced by helium have two protons. So double the mass is compared to hydrogen. Let me summarize the whole concept. Different gases produce different types of positively charged particles. That are known as canal rays. Later in 1920, Ernest Rutherford named these particles as protons. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please, consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.